All right, YouTube, what are you saying? I'm back in Nephil Studio. Um, this one is a little bit different. Uh, it's a request um, from one of my good fans. In this video, I'm going to be making different types of like organ bases and how to structure them, really. And before we get into the video, I just want to use this for a little bit of a promotion on my website. Um, I got beats for as little as twelve dollars ninety nine cent. Um, we got drill, lo-fi drill, um, house, UKG, um, stuff like that. Trap. As you can see, they have an unlimited license, a basic license, twelve dollars ninety nine. Um, both deals, buy three get one free. I've also got two song kits on here as well. Um, my bass bangers pack, which has uh, got nine bass loops, um, presets, and it's also got nine single hits as well for you to make your own presets, loops, that type of thing. I'm also doing something new, uh, which is mixing and mastering, so if you send me a beat and you want to rap over it, send me the beat, uh, record yourself singing over it, um, send me over your vocals and I'll put that on the beat, uh, add some effects to your vocals, stuff like that, make it sound good. So yeah, that's about it for my website, um, if you want to check it out, there's a link in the description, I'll just go to this link here, um, gcmusic.beatsouse.com, and yeah, let's get back into the video. Alright, so starting off, I use the Korg M1 plugin. I got this on sale for about 20 quid. I think it's normally 50 quid. Um, browser, organ. If you're using a cracked version, it'll be organ 6, I believe, something like that. Um, but if you're using the up to date version like me, it's the M1 house split. So you want to load that up, head it into your piano roll. And literally all I do, right, is find the key randomly on my keyboard. So we'll go for the... It's not working, hang on. <laughs> Alright, there we go, it's working now. So we'll go for this key. There, I already have made that little beat. You just need to play around, see what sounds good. And once you've done it, um, hit this button here. Uh, no, it's no automation. Pattern, just record something in. So I've got that recorded in, I'm going to unclick this button, this is what it sounds like. Alright, now the little, now the uh, annoying part comes in, so with your beats right, I'll play it for you, so if I put this in a channel, uh, in at the door, and I'll just put, uh, make a new one, put kicks on it, uh, just like that, it'll sound off beat. You see this sounds a bit fast, so to fix that, just go back onto your piano roll. And each one of these lines is where the kick's gonna be. So there's gonna be a kick here, 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 and here, and here, 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 here. It goes on like that. So you wanna put them on a line, if you know what I mean. So you wanna make sure all of them are on a line. It takes so long. The closest line, because if you've done, uh, if you've recorded it in right, it should sound alright. So I'm going to quickly do that. So I've recorded that in. Um, each little thing is on a line. Um, so we'll see how that sounds like with the kicks now. Sometimes it might still not sound right, so I think it sounds a bit fast over here. So I'm just going to highlight these, drag them over one, maybe. No, that's too slow. And even sometimes, all you need to do is just none. Drag them a bit closer to each other. And it'll sound more flowy. Oh, no way. There, right, so I've dragged them all out. It sounds like this. Yeah, that sounds alright, so we're gonna do it with the kicks. Yeah, I think that sounds alright. Instead of it, what it does, um, filling them out, it fills the spaces in between instead of that little plucky sound, uh, like this. If you 
drag them out, it makes it fill more. It makes it sound so much cleaner, so much nicer. So I'm in the middle of adding the drums and one of the loops, obviously my loops don't have the BPM on because I can't put the BPM on for everyone uh, due to certain reasons. Um, so all you need to do is this little button up here, stretch audio while resizing clips. So click that, or you can click shift and M, I think it is. Yeah, shift and M. Just zoom in on it and then drag it to the nearest dark bar, if you know what I mean. So it'll sound on beat. Sounds a bit weird, so I'm just going to turn it down. Turn these down a little bit. Alright, uh, duplicate that. And uh, I've got the drums basically done. I'm just going to add a bit of white noise again. So then I'm just going to show you the white noise sounds off here. It's not that bad, but it sounds a bit fast. Um, so I'm just going to zoom in, uh, click that button or shift and M, and then drag it, sounds normal. My organ's a bit quiet, so I'm just going to go into my place arrangement and turn it up. There, uh, the organ still doesn't sound right, but I'm just going to play around with that for a bit, and it should be alright. Um, all the drums are from my kit. Uh, my house drums one kit, and if you don't have the M1, the Korg M1, um, my bass bangers has the M1 organ. And it has a lot of basses as well. Um, if you try out, it's also got loops, so presets like this. So if I was to do that, um, put that in. Uh, that's not on, so I'm just going to turn it up until it is. There we go, 138, it's on point now. Uh, take these out. Actually, no, I'm not. Uh, stretch these over. And then this is it with my uh, loop. That's obviously with no mixing or mastering. We've got another one here. I made a beat with this one, so this one's a bit over, so we're going to go slower. There we go, 130 BPM. Check if it's on, it is. So yeah, if you want to buy that pack, uh, there'll be a link in the description, uh, which is also on my website. So yeah, if you did enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, let me know what you want me to what, let, fucking hell. let me know what you want me to do next uh, in the comments. And yeah, subscribe if you haven't already. Um, I hope you enjoy this video and yeah, peace out.